Minecraft is starting to become huge. Recent updates have made it so that there are literally hundreds of items in the game and I can't even keep track of them all. It's, it's too much. So to make your life easier, let's go over literally the easiest automatic storage system that exists in Minecraft. You can make this as big or as small as you want, but I'm gonna show you a design for five separate chests here. All you do is put your items you want in there, and then it automatically sorts them into the chests below. So let's go over everything you need to make this storage system. I'm only going to make mine five layers long, but you can realistically make this as long or as tall as you'd like. So this is just the ingredients for a simple design. We have hoppers, building blocks, chests, temporary blocks that we named with an anvil, redstone, redstone torches, repeaters, and comparators. Now you can also optionally have like glass, item frames, stuff like that. You don't, you don't need to have this. It's just if you wanna make the farm look a little prettier. So anyways, we're going to start by placing our five double chests and then right on top of them, place another five. After this, we're going to do our first layer of hoppers, and you want to make sure you shift click the hoppers into the chest. So the little nub of the hopper needs to be collecting into the chest. They need to connect. If they don't connect, this isn't going to work. So make sure all the hoppers are going directly into the chest. So right behind the hoppers, skip a block, and then on the next block, place a row of your building blocks. On the inside, we're going to place redstone torches, and on the outside, we're going to place our repeaters facing towards our block. Just like this. Now we're going to use the rest of our blocks by placing five more, just like this, behind the repeaters. And then we're going to hop up on top of them and start at the hopper and place one, two, three blocks. And do this for each row of chests you have. We have five, so we're going to do this five times, just so we cover everything up and get ready for the next layer. Now, what you're gonna do next is grab your comparators in hand, stand on top of the chests, and face the hoppers. And from here, you're going to place all of your comparators facing that direction away from the chests. Once you've done that, on these remaining building blocks, we can fill all of them up with redstone up here and down here, so we have redstone covering this whole platform. Next, we're going to take some more hoppers, and we're going to carefully place them going into the comparator. So we're shifting and we're gonna right click while the comparator is highlighted right here. You have to make sure that the hopper is going into the comparator. This is a little odd since we don't typically do this in farms, but this is unique for the storage system. Once you've done that, we're just gonna head over one block here, just a temporary block and place ourselves a chest. Now we're gonna take our remaining hoppers and place them like this going into this chest. One, two, three, four and of course five, and then we're going to place one extra, sort of hanging off on the side here, and on top of this extra, place another chest. We have these two chests here. This chest will be your input chest. This is where we put our items into to be sorted, and then the items will be sorted in here. Anything that can't be sorted will be left in this chest. So now we're going to work with the hoppers that are facing into the comparators. I only have 15 of these blocks, but I need a little bit more. We're going to take any block that's named. You can use grass, dirt, cobblestone, stone brick, doesn't matter, just name it anything with an anvil and fill up all the slots in your hopper except for one. So we're going to fill up these last four slots in each of the hoppers facing the comparator. You'll know you're do it right because before you fill it up, the comparator will be turned off. We fill it up. The comparator is now turned on and powered. So, place those blocks just like that. Now, for the remaining slots in the hopper, that's where you place 41 of the item you want sorted. Now, 41 sounds like an oddly specific and random number, but 41 actually matters because it's 45 items total, which locks a hopper for a sorting system. It's just a game mechanic. So, in this first chest right here, let's say I want iron, in these chests, so I'll put 41 iron in this. In this one, I'll do gold, and then diamonds, emerald, and netherite. I'm just doing this storage system, pretending it's sort of like a, uh, a mining storage system. I'll put all my mining materials in here. So that's about it. What I like to do is add some glass, since you can put glass on top of chests and still open them, place some item frames, and sort of have it organized that uh, this is what is in each chest. 
just like this. So let's pretend I just got back from a mining trip and I just want to quickly dump all my items in a chest, not have to organize them myself. Well, I can throw them all in that chest and it will automatically sort them into these chests. We can watch them getting sorted and just as we said, all the items will be in their corresponding chest. So we have netherite in the netherite chest, emeralds, diamonds, gold, and iron. And then in here is everything that wasn't sorted. And we can easily make this as large as we want. We can quickly just take off this hopper and the input chest, add another layer, and then add the hopper and input chest again, and it can be done. You can make this extend hundreds of blocks, or you can even build more on top of this if you wanted to, or below it. This is pretty much the simplest and easiest to follow design. I'm someone where I am horrible with redstone and game mechanics, even though I've been playing this game as my full-time job for eight years, but this is simple enough that I can understand it, so this is why I like this design. It is by far the simplest, easiest, quickest, and you don't really need many resources. You can put this together pretty early in your world, all you need is a good amount of iron for the hoppers. But that's all for this design. I really hope you enjoyed. If you found it useful or if you enjoyed this, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I hope you enjoyed. This is my second channel, so if you like my videos, you can check out my main channel, JWisp. I'll link it down below. But I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.